What is good friends and welcome back. Pop quiz for all the new commanders out there. How many VIP levels there are in Warpath? 10? No, 15, right? Mm, no, 20? If you said 20, the answer is wrong. It's wrong, bitch. There are 25 VIP levels in Warpath. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Yes. Why you don't see 25 or even 20 is because you didn't reach that level yet. So when you reach VIP 15, you have access to up to VIP 20. And when you reach VIP 20, you gain access to VIP 25. Now, VIP is very important. So for all the new commanders out there, upgrading VIP is important, especially early in game. It's a fast way to obtain some nice buffs in terms of industry, research, firepower, durability or HP, damage, damage resist, even some quality of life upgrades. Uh, like the latest that is coming with the version 9.4 where uh, for the older commanders that have access to the modern units, you will be able to promote an 8 stars units to a nine stars unit sim with a simple click. That is amazing. It was a time consuming process before. With this upgrade, every commanders who reach a specific VIP level will be able to simply one click to promote, uh, to fast promote a unit. So that is great news. Now, for all of those commanders who are not sure how to upgrade your VIP level, it's quite simple there are three ways to do so the first way is to purchase packs either with real money or diamonds every time you purchase a pack you will get you will obtain some vip points up to thirty thousand if you purchase the biggest pack uh, the second way to increase your vip level is by um, simply being part of a strong alliance so every time a member purchase something either with real money or diamonds, you will get a small kickback every time you purchase. So of course, if you are part of a strong alliance with a lot of spenders and this alliance is pretty active, your VIP level will increase much faster than if you were in a smaller alliance. And the third way, easy, simply by purchasing it with gold. So this is a fast way, quick way to push for a VIP early in game. As you can see, I'm very close to reach VIP 23. I need less than 800,000 points <laughs> uh, to upgrade to VIP 23. Actually, I could upgrade right now. I'm going to wait though until I'm in a conquest. It's better for me to purchase inside a conquest rather than when we are at peace. So for all the new commanders out there, I'm going to give you a glance of the upgrades are the buffs you can get with VIP 15 up to VIP 25 for those who didn't reach that level yet. So you get a better idea of things to come, right? So let's go back in time and go to VIP 15. So VIP 15, what do you get? So your crude oil collection speed is increased uh, to 30%. Just to make things clear here, the way it's written it looks awesome, but it takes into consideration what you have right now. So let's say at VIP 15, you see the crude oil collection speed increased to 30%. So it's not an additional 30%. It used to be 25, then it's increased by five to reach 30. Okay. I know it's kind of misleading that it does those things, but you have to understand that it's not plus 30, it's 30 total, okay? Unit capacity, 150. Parts capacity, plus 250. Daily rapid resupply limit, plus five. Airlift limit, plus two. So the airlift is when you teleport inside the city and not to go from a city to another city. This is called a teleport. This is the airlift. Reserves recovery rate, plus 100%. Now it gets interesting your reserves recover a little bit faster and uh, you don't have to purchase a reserve spot maybe okay vip 16 you get military funds collection speed plus 35 percent 
Production queue length plus 80, officer experience for officer missions plus 12%. Camp prestige for officer missions plus 12. Firepower plus 10%. That's good. Training speed plus 10. So you train a little bit faster. VIP 17. The steel collection speed is increased to 35%. Unit capacity 200. Base HP recovery plus 15%. So now when you get burnout, your base recover faster. HP plus 10% and you get an additional teleport. VIP 18. Crude oil collection speed plus 35%. Parts capacity plus 300. Daily rapid resupply limit plus 6. I think this is the max you reach at level 18. Troop damage inflict plus 10%. Training speed plus 15%. VIP 19. Energy recovering speed. 30%. This is nice. Unit capacity plus 250. Production Q land plus 100. Troop damage suffered minus 10%. Reserves recovering rate plus 150%. You get uh, up to two teleports. Now VIP 20. Parts capacity 350. Officer experience for officer missions plus 15%. At this point, this is kind of useless as most of you already uh, maxed their uh, prestige uh, thing in the camp rank. Airlift limit plus 3, firepower plus 20%, HP plus 20%. Oh, VIP 20 is interesting. Training speed plus 20%. So VIP 20 is a big leap forward. VIP 21, unit capacity plus 300, troop speed plus 12%, firepower plus 30%, reserves capacity plus 3000. This is a huge gap. It's even, it's getting more interesting now at VIP 21. VIP 22, my level, so parts capacity plus 400, production Q length plus 120, base HP recovery plus 20%. Yep, uh, HP plus 30%, training speed plus 25%, and now 800,000 points later, I will be able to unlock a unit capacity plus 350, I don't really care for that, troop damage inflict plus 15%, reserves recovering rate plus 200%, I get an additional teleport, at VIP 24, you get 450 more parts for your capacity. Troop damage suffer minus 15%. Training speed plus 30%. And finally, VIP 25, the, the last level. Until Lilith released a, up to VIP 30, but I doubt it. So unit capacity plus 400. Production Q land plus 140. Not a big deal. Troop speed plus 15%. Yep, this is uh, very useful. Airlift limit plus 4. So you can airlift more often. Firepower and HP plus 40%. If you wonder why those well are so powerful, this is one of the reasons their firepower and HP is maxed out. Uh, so there you have it, guys. So VIP, you can easily push that early in game. Uh, until VIP 10 or 12, then every new step gets uh, more difficult. You need to spend a little bit more or you have to be more patient, but you can do it. It's either a matter of time as you are part of a stronger alliance. Of course, your VIP level will increase faster. And for those who want to save their gold and invest in vip it's another good way to earn some permanent buffs and some quality of life upgrade that's it friends if you have any question about vip or anything game related just let me know you can reach me in game until then friends i wish you a great week take care see ya